Hello people, this is Christian and you are welcome back to the Don't Have channel. So in our last video, we were able to connect our Firebase storage to our React Native application. Okay, so in this video, we are actually just going to send and then retrieve image to and from Fire Store. Okay, so for this and more, kindly click on the subscribe button if you haven't and join me. Alright, so let's quickly start so i have added a new file here and i'm just going to explain it to you quickly and we move on so it's actually a hook function and i have three functions here okay so i have the upload image i have the update image and then the delete image okay so these functions are to we are going to use these functions to upload and delete images as their name is sounds intuitive okay so from here let's go back to our documentation remember we're working with expo documentation right so i'll go to my documentation here and i'm going to quickly search for image picker okay good so this image picker is actually going to help us to get image from our device okay so i'm just going to copy this and back to our projects open a new terminal and paste it and install okay so whilst installing there are a couple of things we need to do we come down here to the usage we are supposed to copy this and then paste it inside here okay so i think yeah let me paste it right here and then do some changes here so think i have to add this style here so that i can delete the other one okay so i'm going to add it here and then i can delete this and that okay and then also i can go back and then copy all this down here up to return copy back to our project and then copy all this paste it okay let me quickly explain what we are trying to do here so we are having our using our use stage we are having our image here which is our variable we have our function to update our variable we have our peak image this peak image when you click on it when it's called you call using our library you call our image picker dot launch image library async okay and here we are trying to define the type of uh, media we want from our device okay so we are going to change this to images okay because we want all images we want to allow editing yeah and then we want the dimension to be three by four okay or four by three sorry and then we want it to be in the best quality so we set it to one okay so obviously the size of the image is going to increase okay that is much bigger than we setting it to let's say two or three okay so and after that we will console log the results and here we will check if cancelled if cancelled is yes then nothing happens but if you are not cancelled that means if you click on an image that is i mean if you select an image from your device gallery then you will set that image url to this variable image okay and then from there we can show the image here okay so this means when the image is available you should show it if it's not available you shouldn't show it okay so that is what we are actually doing here and here we have our button and we have our on press function here okay so i'm quickly going to save this and we will go back to my physical device okay so my android phone yeah so as you can see i will quickly go to expo i'll click on expo and whilst expo is open we have to now run our project here so we are, go we are just going to type npm start as we did previously so npm start and here you can start so let's wait for the metro bundler to finish all right so once our metro bundler is done looking at my screen that is my android phone screen we can click on scan scan qr code okay 
and then you now scan the code from my device my laptop okay and as you can see it's building okay so let's wait for it to finish building hopefully we don't get any error all right so for now there is no error so what you do next is let's pick an image okay so click all right oops good so i have some images here but i'll use ten hag <laughs> so i'm actually a football fan so yeah and then click on crop i know the next question that follows is that means you are supporting my united okay we'll talk about that one later okay so yeah there is some warnings here don't 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 mind the warnings for now so the next thing you are going to do is so as you can see here let me just copy this and paste it here okay so that we can see the url itself and the next thing you are going to do is you are going to say uh, image data underscore data oops equals to and await okay and we are going to use our firebase to, to get our upload image okay and inside our upload image we are supposed to pass the url which is this one so i'm just going to copy that and paste it here comma and you're also supposed to pass our path okay so we will talk about the path in a minute so take note of the path which is image so i'm just going to save this and we will quickly go back to our expo so no not expo firebase okay so what you are going to do here is we are going to add a new creative folder here and the folder's name is going to be called images okay so add folder so add folder and then we go to rules okay we have to change the rules here Good. and then from the rules we can now change the rule to true instead of false okay and then publish that's updated okay good so once we are done here i think we are good to go now so i'll just go back to my project and then i want i would like to console log it once it's done so console log yeah our image data so we are going to take notice of um the url image that is from locally and then once it's done the url also okay so what i'm trying to say is this is the local url we are going to get okay and we will pass that and then save our image on our firebase storage okay and when when it's done let's go back here and see so once it's done we download or we get the download url back okay so that is the return item okay so that is going to be stored here and then we will now lo log it and see how it looks like okay so let's save that and now let's try and pick an image again so i'm going to pick ten hag again because man of the uh, manager of the month for november so let's try it again crop okay good so oops we are getting some error here okay so i think for some reasons you are not able to get okay so you for simplicity sake let's come back here and copy this and then let's go here and paste it yeah i'll later find out why so let's just change this to columns good and then let's save it okay so now let's come to our terminal and type r to refresh or reload the apps okay Alright, so once the app is done, 
so now let's click on pick image again again ten hug and then crop good so eyes on my terminal let's see what will happen good so you see this is the local file like local url and after that this is the returning url so this url when you click on it so control click yeah open it we can get the actual image okay so you see ten hag very nice so now let's go here let's go to files and then let's click on this okay you see yeah it's loading that's ten hag here so we've been able to upload image and also get an image right so i think that's it for this video i hope you really enjoyed it so from here you can store this url somewhere in your database let's say mongodb or sql so i hope you really enjoyed it thank you very much yeah don't i, I know the design doesn't look good but i think for now you know the idea and i'll leave i will make the source code available so that you can get the code so from here you can actually build upon it okay so thank you very much for being with me see you in another video